never been on vacation or travel for any other reasons and you found yourself in, in at this spectacular location that you felt amazing at, have you? And did you, have you ever had that thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing, this is where I want to stay now and I don't want to go back home. Have you ever had that thought? I've had this thought many times actually during my vacations. So back in my youth days when I used to live in Poland, my sister said, you're such a gypsy, you could just live out of a suitcase. And then I thought, why would she even say that as I was not traveling um, that much at that time? And then a few years later, I found myself living in the USA and I just became a travel junkie. I was just eager to travel, to explore, to um, learn new cultures and just to learn about the world on my own rather than from um, books or watching a TV. So recently, I was browsing the internet and I came across this article on um, NBC News website and it said with big capital letters, um, five scientifically proven benefits of traveling. And I thought, this is great, this is an article for me, I should read it, especially that it's scientifically proven. So the first benefit of traveling was that traveling makes us um, healthier. Um, according to the article, uh, women who actually vacation at least twice a year, they are less likely to develop um, health problems like heart attacks, for example. Um, the same with men. Men actually who travel at least once a year, they are um, lowering their risk of death and um, heart issues. So here I thought, wow, this is amazing. So at least I can scratch that off the list of potential diseases. Second thing was travel releases um, stress. And here I stopped for a second, because I was like, what about lost luggages and delayed flights and um, simply a person that's sitting next to you and smells not very nice? <laughs> Have you had this before? I've been there too. But actually, the, articles fo the article focused on us after the travel. When we come back home and we are a couple days after it, we are less anxious, less stressed, and more relaxed. The third part, the third benefit on the list was um, traveling boosts your creativity. And I thought, wow, this is actually something for me as I am in the creative field. Um, so it says that people actually who travel internationally at this point, um, they increase their cognitive um, flexibility, they actually make deeper connections, and um, moreover actually people that dive into the culture when they travel, they are, um, they, they're getting the highest creativity boost. So this was great. The fourth actually benefit on that list was that traveling makes us happier and more satisfi satisfied. And here I was like, of course, I mean, nobody wants to work and we all like to just go away and get away from our chores. But actually, according to the article, um, when th the whole process of, of actually organizing the trip for ourselves makes us more happy and more satisfied. And the last one on the list of benefits that um, uh, travel gives us is that travel decreases the um, possibilities of getting actually depression, um, which I thought was very huge because nowadays probably some of you had maybe family members or even yourself um, suffer from depression at some point. So I thought this is great because why not spend money on travel rather than um, some depression pills or a psychiatrist. Um, so all in all, I think there are a lot of benefits of traveling and I can actually say it from my own experience as well as from the article that, I, that I've read. Um, there are, of course, advantages, as some that I already mentioned, or even the fact that we have to spend money in order to travel. But at this point, I think traveling has more benefits than actually disadvantages. So um, I hope that you are all excited to travel, and at this point, you are thinking about your future destination. Thank you.